part of the concept of strings we have seen uh, these programs in my previous video now we'll go for these things okay we'll see one by one what are these programs and uh, the concept as well as execution one by one uh, hello everyone this is shravan kumar mantri welcome to our channel csc gurus yeah we'll go for the first one uh, find the frequency of each character okay uh, let us suppose uh, if i take if i take something like uh, csc uh, guru yes like this if i take the count for c is only one count for uh, s is two the count for e is uh, one count for g is one and count for uh, u is two and count for r is one right so totally eight characters we have so like this and of course i want to print in alphabetical order or lexicographical order uh, we want to print them the count so this is frequency of each character so one might observe to get the frequency of each character you may check with first with second and first with third first with fourth like this and making the count keeping the count and second with third like this you can do but sometimes what happens you can have the count repetition like let us suppose if there is a count like this let us suppose uh, a a b like this if you have so a repeated three times and again a repeated two times when you come here you will get this sort of the error that is another part okay so that is a one more thing we need to check it out and of course that also can be reduced that also can be rectified but the interesting way how you can do especially about the characters or alphabets when you consider okay that is what we'll see now with execution we'll see now so here i have taken a string and uh, let me take let me take this one okay uh, the example so what i have to do okay what i'll do of course i'll go with uh, a concept called as uh, uh, taking another one which is an integer array i'll let you know how this can be executed okay this is a string str 0 1 2 3 4 5 I'll take a string a b a something like d uh, again d something like b and one more let us suppose c I'll take or something like c I'll take okay something like this and null character okay so now the logic here is anyway first I'll type here what I'll do I'll take int account variable c of exactly you can take 26 okay this is the one thing or you can take 123 first anyway i'll show you 123 first afterwards i'll let you know how to do with the 22 or 26 with the array size okay yeah so why this is required actually okay so i'll write a logic here for loop for i starts with zero i less than going till the last or you can maintain the count that is also fine okay i'll write string str of i not equals to null character this is the one thing you can do or you can find the length that is also fine directly okay and i'll write only one statement remember this one this is very important c of str of i this is then i'll write plus plus that's it almost my answer is over so what is this logic okay anyway i have to take i variable so what is this logic if you consider anyway i have taken c of 123 is equals to zero that means the meaning is c is an integer array which takes like this it starts from zero right so four five like this up to 122 right so it's an integer array initially it's zero means all are initially zeros like this then then you can see for i equals zero what is str of zero a so it will become c of zero what is c of okay it's str of zero is a a means c of a right so what is str of zero a inside it c of a a is nothing but it's a ascii value right so it's an integer array right so it takes the ascii value of a what is ascii value of a 
97 right so cf 97 somewhere 97 you will find here right so let us take here uh, something like 97 here let us suppose i'll take from here as 97 98 99 like this so here it is 0 okay so it will become what 1 okay now i'll take b str of 1 next c of b what is c of b means c of can i say it is 98 so 98 means it goes to 98 and makes it as 1 next str of 2 a c of a what is the value 1 will become 2 next d means c of d d what is ascii value 100 right so here goes to the 100 and makes it as 1 and then five, again fourth one is again d so goes to here and makes it as 2 then 5 b is there so goes to the 98 and makes it as 2 and here 6 it makes it as c means here 1 so like this it goes up till i uh, the ascii value for lower case is 122 right that's why i have taken this one okay so anyway if there are upper case you can take you can get from uh, 65 to 90 like this you will get it okay so like this you will get the count now you can observe what is cf 97 2 means the count of a is 2 cf 98 2 count of b is 2 cf 99 is 1 so count of c is 1 you can see so the all the counts you will find in count area so that means here the answer is okay so this is what and finally i want to print this array how you have to print you can see here uh, I'll write for okay I starts with 0 or 1 whatever it is 0 I less than 123 I plus plus so I'll consider the count array where the count value is non zero right then only I'll consider that is what our frequency if C of I right C of I is not equals to 0 then only I'll consider that okay I'll write print of okay I'll make slash n so a character percentile C okay I'll write here slash n a character percentile C how many times it is repeated repeated percentile D times okay so I'll write like this percentile D times and the first percentile C means which is a character I and the count which is C of I so i if it is 97 the percentile c means what is ascii character you will get here right so this is a simple logic you can maintain and you can readily get the answer with this without much logic you can observe here i think we have done it perfect we'll see the output i'll take a b a a then i'll take d then d then b then c okay the count of a is 3 b is 2 uh, C is 1, D is 2. We will see this. Yeah, You can see A repeated 3 times, B repeated 2, C 1 time, D 2 times. So this is a frequency. Okay, This is a frequency of uh, each character. Okay, So now, now if I ask you what is, how many are repeated? Then my answer will be what? My answer will be only A, B, D. So C is not repeated. So that I want to print. So how to print when I when I get this answer so which is very easy what is the one change we have to do here we are printing if CFI is non zero right so that means or greater than zero greater than or equal zero now at least one time you have to get it right so in order to get at least one time I'll keep CFI is greater than one that's it our answer is over you can observe so I'll take a b a a a then b might be c c c then d i'll give and e also i'll give and i have to print only a b then c that's it right uh like this a b c let us suppose if i give f f which is repeated to two times you can see so a four times b four two times c three times f two times but one only one the count is which we are not printing this is about not I mean repeating characters okay so that is also we have seen in this so like this very interestingly you can write the logic now the thing is you can reduce this the size also this one whenever if the condition is only less only uh, lowercase or only uppercase let us suppose you are giving the input as only lowercase 
that means you will get from 97 to 122 if it is only uppercase you will get from 65 to 90 right only 26 so in that case what you have to do is you have to write you have to take it in any way this you have to take is cf26 then here instead of str of i if it is a lower case you keep here as minus a like this if it is only uppercase you can keep it as uppercase a that's it why because if i take uppercase a so let us suppose if a character b you want to find what is the value here i'll write here if I want to get B here, so B minus A, B is 66 minus A, 65, you will get the count as 1, right? So that means it's if it starts from index 0, that means index 0 for character A, index 1 for character B, like this up to 25 for Z. If it is lower case, so 0 should be for A, 1 should be for lower case B, 2 should be for C. So in that case, what you have to do, you have to write here as a lower case here. So now also you will get the answer. So this is a one more thing and we'll try this one. So I'll write A and one more thing, one and one more thing here, it is not up to 123. It is up to 126 is fine, right? So now you can see here. I'll write A, B, A and C, 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 D, E and F, okay. And of course you have to change here. Here also you have to change. It is not I. It is I minus single quotes of A, right? So this is also to be changed. So this is I plus, sorry. We have to add that right and b c c c d then e f if i give so o a and c are repeated which are three times remaining one time only we are not printing so we need to change the logic if you want to take only c of 26 and you can take c of 123 for all the uppercase and lowercase separately if you want so like this we can get the logics for finding the frequency of each character as well as repetition also we can get it right so how to get the repeated count of characters in a string so that is also our answer of course this part is over now so we'll see the next questions in the next video lecture thank you